Hello everyone, how are you doing? I'm Ambassador Dr. Queen Blessing Ibigasin, popularly known as Black Queen. I'm an Hollywood actress and a filmmaker. I'm the president and founder of Queen Blessing Foundation and the vice president of Association of Movie Producers Nigeria. Okay, so this afternoon, and I just want to talk to us. Um, I've been, you can see me all glammed up. I'm just leaving a studio where I went for an interview in somewhere in Ikotun. Um, this morning, I was just frustrated trying to pay in a check into my account since yesterday. It's been crazy, the, the, the crowd at the bank. I am just trying to pay a check. I'm not collecting money. Then you cannot imagine those who are collecting money. It's not even encouraging to collect money because, okay, at some point, the manager came out and said, you know what, all of you, we are going to allow you in, but everybody is going to take 2,000 naira. I'm, I'm, I'm like, are you kidding me? And then the ATM was not even paying. Anyway, 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 as they, they frustrate us rich, as everybody they frustrated rich, let's understand that we are going into the most important election in the history of Nigeria. Okay, so this election is an election that the, the candidates have campaigned for the past six months. They've been campaigning. That's how serious this election is. Whoever wins the presidency... Uh -huh. will never take Nigerians and Nigeria for granted. You know why? We've given them a run for their money and time. And it's been, it's been brain draining, taxing for all of them. Different interviews, talking in different forums about what they want to do for us. And of course, people campaigning for which candidate or whoever candidate have had the time to campaign. And the window for campaign is closing. And so we shouldn't go to the polling units and be cajoling people and be campaigning because that time would have passed by then. I just want to advise us, let's go out en masse. Let's vote. Let's vote our conscience. Let's vote for that person we think or we know or we believe will take Nigeria to the promised land. I am one person who do not believe that Nigeria will change overnight. But gradually, if we get good leaders, it will begin to reshape and shape itself and one day we'll have a Nigeria that we want, a Nigeria that will be worth the while. Please go out and vote. Not that on, on, the, on Saturday now, you go to your, to your compound or the main road, you turn it to a football pitch and you are playing ball. You will say the person will go win, go win. You will say our vote does not count. If our vote does not count, they will not be campaigning for the past six months. They have all campaigned for over six months for this election. If votes does not count, they will not campaign that much. They won't go state to state, local government to local government, to tell us what they want to do for us, to beg us for their vote. Let's go out there and vote. You see, look, even if your vote does not count, if that's what you believe, that you even went out to vote at all, you will not beat yourself for not doing it at all. It's your civic responsibility. It's your right. Your vote is your right. Go out and vote for that candidate you believe will change this country. Go and vote your conscience. The good thing is that it's a secret ballot. You don't need to go to the polling unit and be telling anybody, I want to vote for Tunumbu. I want to vote for some, uh, for, for um, what do you call it, Konkoso. I want to vote for Atiku. I want to vote for Obi. To avoid fight, just go there. Take your own uh, ballot paper. Go and vote the person you want to vote for. Like I said, campaign have the windows of campaign is closing. And by the day of the election, the window of campaign would have closed. So anything where you never talk six months ago to tell to, to cajole people to vote for your candidate or you as a candidate to tell people say make them vote for you. There's nothing you want to say on the day of election. You understand my point now. So to avoid bloodshed, to avoid because tempers have risen. Temperatures don't high. Everybody they vex. With this uh, new Naira redesign policy, said we can make where everybody turn to church right, where nobody get money, everybody is upset. So rather than go to a polling unit and be constituting nuisance by saying you are campaigning, please don't do it. All the campaign where you want campaign, you don't campaign and finish. Let everybody go there and vote their conscience. Vote their choice and go home. If you want to stay to protect your vote, to by all means stay. But if you feel that something is happening or your body is not taking it or something is telling you to go home vote and go home like me by the grace of god since i turned 18 i've been voting there's no election in nigeria since i turned 18 i haven't voted 
I'm going to go out on Saturday and I will exercise my rights, my civic responsibility and vote. That is the voice that I have, my one vote. And I will vote for that person that I believe will make Nigeria, will give me the Nigeria or at least put Nigeria on that path that I want on Saturday. And when I finish voting, I will turn around and go to my house. I neck are there to protect our votes. If you want to stay to protect it, fine. But me, Queen Blessing, I no go stay. If I vote, finish at the go house. Anyway, guys, I just wanted to talk to us about the need to go out and vote. Let's not sit on the fence. Let's not say our vote does not count. Make them vote anybody. If you don't come, they go vote for you. And then go thumbprint for the person where they want. So go there, do accreditation, and vote. Vote your conscience, vote your choice. I wish all of us a happy voting as Saturday approaches. I wish all of us a happy voting for presidential, happy voting for governorship election in March as well. Happy voting, happy voting. By Monday, by the grace of God, we're going to have a tear rubber president. By Monday, no, no matter what thing, even if they count the ballot paper for three days, last, last, by Tuesday, we go get the tear, a tear rubber president. And I say to all Nigerians, and of course myself, congratulations as we have a peaceful election and a tear rubber president.